We think she wins. And then I'm judged. I don't come back. To the winning of all horses. And this is Killer Instinct again with the Dragon Spirit. Kim Wu's theme, which sounds weirdly Chinesey and Japanesey, and she was looking like she was doing a kick, which means I'm expecting her to be kung fu fighting. Ha! 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 No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. So given that this sounds Chinese, rather than something like Smaug, I'm expecting one of those dragons that look like fl fluffy snakes with reptilian heads and with mustaches yes yes yeah for some reason dragons in chinese depictions always have mustaches they don't know how to shave yeah but they're more swirly yes they're swirly okay that's pretty much my expectation from this i don't know what the sound is going to be like but probably chinese-ish i mean no
Do you know these notes at the end? What they're from? No. Because I heard it in the song as well. It's the main theme, the instinct. Really? Yes. Huh. But it's translated on a Chinese plinky instrument. There were two traditional style sounding instruments, the blowy instrument and the plinky instrument. What? It's factual. <laughs> Don't make me say it again. No, it isn't. Yes, yes, it is. It's entertaining. Wow. This was really nice. It was really nice. So we had the two traditional instruments. We had the guitars. And then we had a lot of electronic stuff. Yeah, and it sounded kind of like classic disco music, the electronic stuff. Yeah, it's, it's again this merger of really contrasting elements because it's not like you have just metal and disco or metal and something ethnic. You have like all three of them goulashing together. It sounded like a... Kung Fu Disco Party with headbanging. Yes. And it's it's also cool very dynamically because you have the very sort of bouncy beat that you get along with the electronic stuff. And then that kind of opens up when, when the sort of chorus riff kicks in and the groove slows down. And it's got that bulky effect. Yeah. That's really, really, really cool. I love how I love how we made this one sound because the character is rather thin and slim and sharp. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't have something, you know, like Polemos. That was all. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds a lot more like agile that. and nimble. So it sounds a lot more agile and nimble, but you still have that really punchy riff. Yes. It just comes like a slap in the face more than a black hole. It's not a slap. She had a nunchuck. And she actually had a nunchuck with a dragon head on it. The dragon spirit. It's not the dragon spirit. It's the dragon nunchuck. That title is a lie. It is. She's using a nunchuck. Oh my God. I have to get killer instinct for we and use a nunchuck. There's a nunchuck for we. Oh, that nut. <laughs> That's a different kind. You of can thing. be slightly too slow sometimes. I mean, I am too, but usually I shut up. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> See, because because you were too slow and didn't shut up. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, that was karma back to bite me in the ass. Yeah, Kim. Do your thing, you know, punch around bad boys with a bad boys with a dragon head thingy. Um, all these characters are trouble. You don't want to mess with them. Unless you're playing them. Yes. In which case you are them, in which case, yay. So if you enjoyed this reaction, greatly appreciate the likes and shares, and if you want more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for coming back. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the windmill there. You should cross out.